Welcome back to my channel where I'll be reviewing this new premium footy Sergio Busquets card. It looks quite nice. I have used his end of an era card quite like that when it was first out. But let's have a closer look at this card anyway. Four star, five star, medium high work rate, six foot two. I like a tall CDM. Just the default CM CDM for him. No new player traits, just the team player leadership, which realistically in foot isn't going to make a huge difference. But these in-game stats is where it matters. Now, the balance 81 is quite interesting, I guess. It might have been nice to see that a little bit higher, especially considering that the face card value is 98 dribbling, but that is sat at 81. So I'm guessing it doesn't affect uh, the face rating that much, shall we say. 88 acceleration. Uh, the fact that this isn't going to be a lengthy card and just going to be controlled will be interesting to see how the acceleration copes with it but you can put a chem style and get that up to 96 with a shadow it's got interesting shooting stats as well so he's got 99 attack position 97 finishing but then he's only got 78 long shots but other than that the stats look pretty decent on him let's have a look at the team that i'm going to be using him in so there is the team as it stands. We've got a couple of the new cards that have come out today in here as well. But let's get into a game and see how good Busquets is. And see how he compares to some of the other CDMs that are currently in the game that I've been using. Like Lorente who's taken the temporary replacement of. Good. Nice simple interception to begin things. And we're on the attack now. Oh, Busquets is still on the move. But his lanky frame kind of partially tried to keep hold of the ball there. Passing it out. Don't go forward, though. Good. Nice. Busquets pad one of those passes in that attack. And we get a goal to go 1-0 up. And he wins the ball back up. Kick off. Pass it out nicely. He's going to get forwards again though, isn't he? Uh, which means now he's out of position. What's he like running back? He is trying to run back there, which is good. Nice to see the work rates doing what the work rates do. Oh, good. Nice. Helping to win the ball back again there. Nice pass. Nice. Good. One, two going on there. Which then... Ah, oh, not quite a goal from Janola. One, two build up. Okay, nice interception, Sergio Busquets. Is that interception going to lead to a goal? No, because Janola frauds me. Go on. Ah, oh, you son should have had a better shot off there. It's doing some good passes though. All right, again, defender winning the ball back, but at least Sergio Busquets is there to kind of like win the loose ball. Okay, the person's disconnected. I don't know if that is them genuinely quitting or if that might be a genuine DC because we're at half time. And I don't think there's a lot in it between me and my opponent. Could have potentially have had an assist in that game. But there's his stats from game number one. We're going to go into another game and see how he gets on. Nice. Winning the ball back. We're going to try and get him to go forward. I don't think he will. Nice interception again. His lanky frame is great. Ah, oh, that was absolutely sublime. Good again. Putting the body on the line. Lanky frame, even if it's just to disrupt the ball a little bit. It's better than nothing. Ah, oh, he steals the ball again. Man, I have... I'm going to say, at the moment, he's feeling like one of the best CDMs in the game. Again, working in tandem with somebody else. Picks up the pass to help 
start even attacks, which is another thing that is helping. I think he's gone into the box there. But he's offside, so he can't take that. However, Janola gets a goal. Busquets was up there, but he went offside. Oh, Busquets, you got to get back. <laughs> and you do. Why did he slow down? You should have made the pass, man. But Busquets gets the ball back and plays another lovely pass. Okay, we've conceded a free kick. I see Busquets is sat in the middle there. Don't know. I doubt this guy's going to whip it in. He's going to try and shoot. Oh, God. Busquets. Busquets blocking the opportunity for... And then helping Donnarumma make sure that he grabs it. All right, go on then. Easy. Yes! An assist for Busquets. There we go. His hard work is good passing. Gets paid off there. He gets the assist that he deserves. Go on then. We're going to try and go forwards again. And... Oh, that was close. But luckily his defender was in the right place at the right time there. Oh, God. Oh, man. That was an inch-perfect pass. And... That's another assist for Busquets. This game is definitely ours now. We might as well try and send Sergio Busquets up the pitch. Come on, send Sergio Busquets up. We want him to have a goal to go with that assist. Oh, he doesn't quite have it. He gets a shot off. He's running back. He's running back. Oh, we concede a goal. I mean, to be fair, I'm, I comfortably won this. So, conceding that goal doesn't matter. Probably almost could have got a red card with him because I decided to slide tackle with him. There we have it. One and a half games later, he's got two assists in this game. Man of the match performance. Final thoughts and feelings on this card. He's got to be, if not, one of or the best CDM in the game that I've been able to use, especially during sh uh, sh uh, footies and from the cover star icons that I've used so far. Tackling, interceptions, his defensive output, absolutely on point. Passing, pretty damn good, especially if you like to have maybe a playmaking CDM. Didn't really feel too slow, but I wouldn't say he felt super fast either. He did maybe feel a little bit clunky, like on the ball or with his turn and ability. The balance can be a little bit felt. However, it didn't feel like it was that much or, to be fair, an issue for me. And I think he's going to be one of those cards that is easily going to be packed anyway during Team 6. Thanks to like sort of the 84 and the 85 plus times 10 SBCs. I definitely think if you get him... He's worth a try and making up your minds uh, or yourselves about like whether he's good or not. But from my experience, from th these few games, he is cracked. He's amazing. He's worth using and having him in, in, in your team. And I think you will enjoy his ability to win the ball back in midfield. But that's going to be it for this player review. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye bye, guys.